I've always grown up doing the sort of wilder side of gardening ever since I was a little kid. I grew up in the corner of North Wales and we had a little patch of land out the back of the house and so it would always be a, a big sort of thicket of brambles and so we'd always be playing in there. Sort of the older I get and the more, you know, the more we start to hear all the troubles that nature has got at the minute and the sort of declines in nature and stuff, it's, it's nice having a way of doing something about it, even if only at a sort of very local level. It's getting away from everything has to be neat and tidy and manicured and perfectly maintained. And it's just like letting things get a bit wilder and a bit more kind of rough around the edges, which sometimes involves changing other people's perceptions of what a nice looking garden looks like. Quite often you start the day with an idea of what you'd like to do today and then things go in a completely different direction. All through the year I've been growing lots of little wildflower plants as little um, plugs like in pots and so this year we're, we're experimenting with that. Luckily the more that the university is kind of prioritising biodiversity on campus I think we're almost getting more of a push to get these jobs done so that means that we can now start to allot time to them rather than you know like when I first started we would squeeze the wildlife jobs in around the workload that we had to do which was more keeping campus looking pretty. A wild garden is prettier than something that's perfectly sort of neat and tidy. The little bits and elements of, you know, if you're sitting in the garden and a butterfly flits past, you know, that kind of really makes it for me. We try and kind of work this, the fact that we're a smaller team to wildlife's advantage. That can be challenging at this time of the year. There's a lot of work to be done managing wild areas, you know, when the grass is cut and it all needs raking. It's many hands that are needed, so then being a small team can be quite challenging. The more that we hear about the, how wildlife is struggling and the climate and emergency crises and things, it's, it's easy to get sort of bogged down in that sort of thing and to find it all quite depressing. But I find if you can do something about that, even if it's on quite a small level, then it's much easier, you know, to sort of feel a bit more kind of positive about it. You know, you can improve things on your own patch 